We are here with uh, James the Amazing Randy, uh, founder of the James Randy Educational Foundation and an all-around amazing magician, obviously, as the name implies. Um, Mr. Randy, uh, what would you find to be or think should be the goal of the skeptic or atheist movement? Well, you've got two different movements there. So. Sure. Yes, skeptical and uh, nasty skeptical, <laughs> usually, in that conjunction. I, I find that's, that atheists are sometimes much nastier than ordinary skeptics, but I, I grant them the difference. Um, I think that our motive should be education. In one word, there it is, education. Informing people about how the real world works and, and saying at the same time to them, be skeptical, be uh, curious about it. People have motives for trying to sell you on an idea or a product or a service. And often that motive is just money, or it's fame, or it's some sort of subversion that may get you away from a point of view that they don't like you having. Be suspicious, but not cynical. Getting cynical, no, you turn down everything and you get nasty and grumpy and your mouth turns down to the corners with this, you can't tell with this one. That's why I grew the beard. But no, it's, it's true. You have to be very careful if you uh, adopt a skeptical attitude. You've got to do it with compassion for the possibility that the people who are trying to sell you on an idea really believe it to be true. And that happens quite frequently in, in my work, certainly. And I have to be understanding of that. Uh, arguing with them or opposing them is much more difficult. You have to be considerably more gentle with people who really believe their convictions that may be quite wrong. Recently, um, there's been um, kind of, I wouldn't say a schism, but there's been a disagreement between, um, say, this, the skeptical movement and the atheist movement about um, mm -hmm. whether or not skepticism really does have any, anything to say about the God question, as it were. What, what do you, um, what do, you, do you think that skepticism has anything to say about that oh, question? Oh, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and I think the answer is, I am a, can I say a devout atheist? I don't know if that works or not. Uh, but I am a confirmed atheist. The reason being that I have, well, I'm 84 now, I'm going on 100 as I obviously, uh, well, optimistically say. I have, for all those years, I've considered the God question. Now, I can't say there is no God, of course. No skeptic could say a thing like that. But all I can say is I have not seen any evidence that convinces me. And that's as far as you can go on it. Of course, we also make our million dollar challenge at the James Randi Educational Foundation. We say, if you can prove a point like that or any other point in the paranormal, occult, or supernatural, we give you a million dollars. Now that's a big carrot. It's not as big a carrot as it used to be, but it's big enough that you should be interested. Why isn't there a lineup right outside this door here? I don't hear any crowd out there you know, and, and no pitchforks and torches or anything of people saying, I want to apply for the prize. Isn't that surprising? Outside the hotel here, I didn't notice anybody. But outside my home in Florida, I look out the window constantly. I don't see any lineup of people there who want to collect the million dollar prize. Why aren't there applications pouring in for it? Oh, we do get some. Of course we do. But you'd think there'd be a huge crowd there. If they can do this every day as they say they can do it, line up outside the house or anywhere you want to meet me. And I'll give you an application form, you'll fill it out, and we'll test you. We're not overwhelmed with requests. I can imagine. And that is kind of ironic, if they can prove it, yet they're, they, 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 I, I'm sure you hear excuses like, well, I'm not in it for the money, or, or you can't test God and, and things of that nature, but those are just excuses. As well, we yes, of course, you, you can test a thing like God. Of course you can. Now, it's, it was tested, you know, some time ago, a mass experiment. It was called Dachau. You know that name. You sure do. A horrid name to even think of. Don't you think that thousands upon thousands of Jews begged, prayed, beseeched whatever God, the version of God that they want to look for? Don't let me die in this place. And they died. Now that's pretty good mathematical evidence as to whether or not prayer works, unless this God is so capricious, jealous, self-serving, and I could go on and on, that he just doesn't care. I wonder if that's true, too. 
Yeah, I mean, that's not a guy that's worth worshiping either. That's very true. Good point.